Well, this is weird. In this video, I want to talk to you about some of the weirder things I've noticed on the carnivore diet. Now, I've already talked in other videos about the health improvements that I've seen on the carnivore diet. And I'll link to a video below showing the amazing health improvements. But today, in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the weirder things that have happened. In fact, I'm going to talk about seven of the weirder things that have happened since I've been on the carnivore diet. But just before we get to that, a word from our sponsor, the subscribe button. I'm aiming to hit 25,000 subscribers over the coming two months. Social Blade thinks I can only get to 17k and I want to beat that number. My YouTube stats tell me that many people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you've ever enjoyed a video on my channel, I would really appreciate it if you could smash the subscribe button to help me get to that 25k goal. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get into it. Weird thing number one is not brushing my teeth in the morning. Now I know this is more about my own choice, but since I've been on the carnivore diet, I don't feel like I need to brush my teeth. I brush my teeth once a day before I go to bed. And because I'm not eating sugar and all those processed foods, I don't get the buildup on my teeth that I used to. I also no longer suffer from gum disease. As a result, I wake up with my mouth feeling fresh. I don't feel the need to brush my teeth, and so I don't. So that's weird thing number one, not feeling the need to brush your teeth all the time. Weird thing number two is no sweating and no body odor. Since I've been on the carnivore diet, no matter how much clothing I'm wearing, no matter how much walking I've done, I don't have BO. I'm not sweating. As a result, I don't feel the need to wear antiperspirant. I don't have that urge to roll on the antiperspirant to make sure that I'm smelling fresh. Because on carnivore, things change. I guess because you're not putting all those processed toxins into your body, your body doesn't have to release strange odors. In my pre-carnivore days, if I'd left the house without putting on antiperspirant, I would have started to feel like there was something wrong, something missing, and eventually realized the mistake I'd made. Not anymore. Weird thing number three is not feeling the need to have a shower all the time. Pre-carnivore, I would have a shower at least twice a day. Once when I got home or before bed, and once when I woke up in the morning. When I woke up in the morning, if I got dressed and went to work without having a shower, I would feel disgusting. I would feel dirty, I'd feel there's something wrong, I needed to have that shower. These days I don't feel like that. I have a shower when I get home or before bed, and when I wake up in the morning, I feel fresh and ready to go. I never think to myself, I need to have a shower. And this saves me a lot of time. Weird thing number four is the sudden early morning wake-ups feeling fully energized. Now, I think this is a combination of the fact that I'm doing carnivore and fasting at the same time, but there's so many mornings that I'll wake up, don't feel tired in any way at all, and have the urge to just jump out of bed. Weird thing number five is having a stable mood about everything. A stable mood about things that would have driven you crazy before carnivore. For example, imagine in your regular life if your boss says something snarky to you or your co-worker says something that's not kind or your co-worker doesn't carry their own weight with their workload. This is something that might upset you a lot and have you spending a lot of time running different scenarios over and over in your mind thinking, how can I solve this problem? Why did they do bad to me? That kind of thing. Once you're on the carnivore diet, things change. In these situations, I've found much more likely that I'm just going to think, oh well, there's nothing I can do about it. In Japan, there's a saying, shikata ganai or shoganai. And this literally means, oh well, there's nothing I can do about it. And the weird thing about being on carnivore is that I find my mood is much more stable. And when there are challenging issues come up that would have driven me wild before and driven me into this spiral of overthinking about things, I'm much more likely to think now, oh well, what can I do? 
Let's just move on to something else. I'm not going to waste my time on this. Weird thing number six is stronger and faster growing nails. I don't know if you can see it, but my nails are way too long. I need to spend some time and actually cut my nails. And this is something I would never have thought about before. And finally, weird thing number seven is I spend less money. And like many things on Carnivore, this is counterintuitive. The automatic feeling is, if I'm buying lots of meat every day, I'm going to be spending a lot more money. But in the end, it doesn't work out that way. Because you're not spending all that extra money on snacks. You're not constantly feeling like you need to go to the convenience store or the local shopping mall to get a snack, to buy something to keep you going until dinner time. As a result, you can eat your meal or your meals during the day and feel satiated, stable, and you don't feel the need to rush out and buy extra food all the time. So even if the meals you're eating end up being more expensive on a per meal basis, overall, you're going to save money. What's your experience on the carnivore diet? Let me know in the comments below. What weird things have happened to you? Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you enjoy my videos, you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. Click the join button under this video or the first link in the description. Thanks again, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.